Yeah, it's uh, 16 hours and 32 minutes into the day of Tuesday, August 21st, 2012, and this is the first segment of Big Bang Theory Row for, th for this episode. Yeah, um, uh, I'm doing more editing. You'll see, start, you're going to start seeing more dynamic graphic overlays in the, uh, di excuse me, you're going to start seeing more dynamic graphics in here. As I start getting this going, I'm still trying to work out some of the kinks and bugs in it. Uh, also, making sure that uh, I have the graphics that I need uh, on the desktop properly done. Because I have to, I have to bring the graphics in from the internet, uh, fix them up in GIMP, and make sure that they're properly done in GIMP. So basically, the way the graphic overlay is being done is uh, I'm using a combination of GIMP and uh, Caden Live. Uh, Basically, I've got the screen, the uh, graphic layout to set up to 720p, so that when I do my uh, graphic with with a uh, transparent background, it's basically a GIF. Uh, I can bring it and then overlay it on top of the uh, the video track uh, in Caden Live, and that produces the graphic. So a lot of the graphics and a lot of the the um, uh, the things that are going to go on here are going to happen in very much uh, a raw format that things have to be created bit by bit, step by step, and so th it is going to be a bit more time consuming. So the things aren't going to come out instantly, instantaneously, but they're going to roll out to a certain. They're going to roll out uh, and be uh, uh, sort of. It, you'll see an evolving form, and as it, you'll see the stuff here first. And when you start seeing the stuff here first, then you can start looking for it as other uh, shows are produced. And for the different areas, like the uh, uh, one thing I'm working on now, and you'll start seeing more of it in, regularly in um, Big Bang Theory. I'll, I'm going to be doing a segment on the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute. Uh, that involves my church, because my church is a Byzantine church. Uh, it goes that far back, and... Uh, a lot of the books there, a lot of the, the text is in that Byzantine Greek that was common to that that area, that that, that era known as the Byzantine Empire. Uh, so I will be doing this more. You'll see the graphics above. As the graphics are changed, I start talking about different things. You'll start to see uh, the graphics uh, that represent the area that I'm talking about uh, show up. So, as I'm talking about the Byzantine Antiquity Studies Institute, you will see the graphic, and it's always going to be on my left-hand side, you'll see the graphic show up for the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute. Uh, if I'm doing something um, Ubuntu BSD Unix, Ubuntu BSD Unix et al., you will see that logo pop up. Although, the, U the logo for uh, <laughs> Linux is already in here. The Linux, uh, I, I, I keep the lo logos, the uh, the graphics for Linux up all the time because I want to remind people that this show, all these videos are being produced in Linux. Uh, it, so this whole show, uh, the channels that come out of here, physics team, everything is all going to be open source. And that's the way it's going to be. So uh, when you're watching this, you're actually seeing uh, Linux in action. So uh, if, if when you hear the music, and, and, and I'm working on the music, this is Linux in action. So what happens is that while other people talk about Linux and don't actually film in Linux itself uh, and do a lot of the broadcasting and so on and so forth, everything here is done in Linux. So this is Linux by example. This is Linux live. Uh, and so you can see what can be done on Linux uh, as I get things done, as I work out the kinks and bugs of them, I'll explain what I've done, how I've did it, 
Um, and I'll also explain some of the uh, the issues that pop up uh, from time to time. And I'm um, say, you know, while things aren't done instantaneously, I don't think that the learning curve is that much more difficult than it is if you were doing this uh, in either Sony Vega or uh, Apple's product, Final Cut. Uh, Final Cut Pro. I'm not going to use. I'm not going to. I'm leaving out the, the 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 version numbers because those version numbers can easily change uh, for Final Cut and, and for uh, Sony Vega. So I'm just going to leave uh, leave the uh, main titles and uh, work with uh, and just and, and omit or leave out the version number. But basically, I'm talking about the professional uh, video editing packages. So that's the whole goal here. Do a professional style job uh, using Linux, keeping everything open source. Uh, the, fu the primary funding here for the TV shows is all going to be uh, in, in the exact same manner that PBS does. It's going to be uh, funding from the public. Uh, I'm not going to be actually taking any government funds at all. I'm not going to be uh, looking for government funds. So it's all going to be up to individuals who uh, are interested in supporting um, the, what, what you see here. So that being said, uh, I am going to start aiming for uh, because someone already asked for the the I can't remember who it was asked for a uh, I think it's uh, yeah Seamus uh, the first name was Seamus I can't remember what the last name is sorry about that uh, has asked to see if we were on Comcast he wants us to keep moving forward so we are keeping forward so now Big Bang Theorel the goal is to uh, keep the half hour format. I did a half hour format last night. We're going to do another, we're going to aim for another half hour format tonight for this episode. Uh, I should say episode rather than the night. It ends up being done at night, but uh, it's actually the episode. So this episode, last episode, the one that's upload, that's rendering and, and uploading now will take about, uh, about four hours in total to do everything. Uh, the goal here next is to get um, uh, make ev every episode a half hour. The issue that I'm sort of having that I have to sort of work on a little bit is that uh, I want to see how long these things actually take to upload, and I have to sort of if if I'm going to be doing half hour hour episodes or documentaries, these longer documentaries, I want to see how long these things are actually going to take to upload, and that means I'm going to have to sort of schedule when the rendering and the uploading is done so that um, it's done during down hours and I can get the most amount of work done in that period of time so in other words things are going to have to be sort of scheduled out rather than the <laughs> you know uh, than, uh, than just simply done on the fly the way it was before so that's what I'll be working on this week is doing more of the scheduling so that the, the, uh, the production work can get done on a more regular basis uh, I've also worked on trying to improve the lighting here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that the lighting has... Uh, I don't know if the lighting has improved to, uh, to a certain degree. I hope it has. Uh, I've tried to do that. Uh, I'm not using specialized lights. I'm just using ambient lighting. That's my goal is to do uh, a lot of ambient lighting in terms of the filming for the, for the lights. So, yeah. Uh, in a couple hours, I think the next segment uh, will be uh, after I come back from church. I'm it's still chemi cease. So I'll be going to church in about, uh, let's see, hour and a half, two hours, I'll be going to church uh, for chemises. Uh I'm filming there, but the filming for chemises will probably not show up on this main channel here uh, for Big Bang Theory RL, but will probably show up maybe in uh, short documentaries on the, the Bass Institute channel. And Bass Institute stands for Byzantine Antiquity Studies. And then, of course, Institute. So uh, that channel there will handle anything uh, from anthropology, archaeology, uh, uh, the Byzantine Empire, antiquities, all of the old museum stuff. If you're a fan of museums, uh, then all that stuff is going to occur, uh, going to occur there. Uh, there is the um, uh, Space Program API channel, TV. Uh, you will see there everything that, 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 that all the work that's being developed on physics is going to be developed there, and eventually, as 
the stuff is, de are, is developed there. All the finalized documentaries will appear on Physics TV. So Physics TV is where everything is eventually going. The different institute channels uh, is, are there to form, if you will, a lab book, an open lab book, an open notebook, so you can see what progress is being made, what's being done, and how things are moving along. So, yeah, um, I'll leave that for now. This is the first segment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the second and third segments. Uh, before we finish the uh, last segment, uh, the last few segments anyways, uh, a couple hours ago, but uh, the battery died, so now it's uh, well, 5.30 in the morning. So, yeah, um, talking about uh, the connection uh, between my church and the Byzantine Empire, uh, sort of... Byz and, and more specifically, the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute. Uh, I got the book here. Uh, this is the book I have. It's all in Greek. It's in the Greek uh, of the Byzantine Empire. The Greek that was common throughout the whole time, even at the time of Christ, there was a Greek that was common throughout the whole area there. It's a common language. And so, I've got a good uh, uh, book in here, and it's all in that Greek here. I've got uh, uh, I've got uh, a good setup on the computer, so that now I can start getting into more of the uh, the uh, not only the history of the language, but also getting into language itself, understanding uh, how things evolve, how different words are used. And so I'm going to be practicing, practicing my uh, my Greek. Uh, I'm also going to be practicing. The, the goal is eventually, at some point in time, uh, start learning the village chant as well, uh, because again, that's that's a very old form of music uh, that you can hear throughout the world. Actually, if you know what to listen, if you know what to listen for, you know. So I have that, that's that's where I'm sort of having fun with that. And, um, yeah, so the next part that we're getting on to now, uh, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, uh, basically, uh, a half hour of, uh, uh, video work, uh, every single day, uh, for every episode, but I don't think that's going to happen. I just, uh, a while ago, a couple hours ago, uh, I checked the video to see what would ha what happened with it. Somehow an error has crept into the video editor. I don't know whether it's a significant problem or, or, or what. Uh, what has happened is that uh, rather than uh, the video goes all the way to the end properly, then all of a sudden at the last little bit, uh, there's this massive jump. And for some reason, uh, 10 minutes is added to the video, there's a 10 minute space added where I had not expected, or I didn't, I didn't actually had, I hadn't added a 10 minute space, so one of that is, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to redo is I'm going to redo the master file, this is one master file that I work on, everything's sort of put together, I'm going to redo that, re sort of rejig how I do, uh, do the editing desk so that's more efficient. Uh, Hopefully the problem in Caden Live doesn't is it, it, isn't a, a significant one, isn't a severe one. That way I can I can sort of move forward and sort of eh, it was a glitch, deal with it and then move on. Uh, but the other thing I do around the internet, is, is, if you see me in sort of watching on YouTube, uh, you watch my YouTube feed. Uh, you have to in order to build your audience, uh, you have to sort of. Uh, subscribe to other people, but at the same time, there are a lot of really interesting people out there, and some of the people that I find interesting is that I, I like quirky personalities, I like the, these vlogs that are like that, and every once in a while I go by these pages, and uh, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm rolling some of the comments that I would normally leave as a separate thing, I'm really one that rolling the comments into here, so they're part of the episode, and I, uh, on that, uh, there's this uh, girl who is the YouTube uh, page, uh, 
uh, her, her, her YouTube channel uh, is the geek, the geeky blonde. Uh, she may be a geek, but uh, she's a great personality. I like the the videos that she has, and uh, she had this recent, most recent video says not dead, and she had this to say. It's funny. So videos might be a bit staggered over the next couple of weeks because high school. Also, I want to hear your cool high school stories, and I don't mean like if I giving sessions and stuff. I gotta cover like you know. Popularity doesn't matter. You're only there for four years to make stuff of it. AP World History is curated by Satan. I got it covered. What I want is your high school stories of you being a badass. Like, did you sneak into your school theater with a sleeping bag and you spend the night seeing your year? Tell me. Did you punch a bully in the throat after they stole your backpack? I want to hear about it. And finally, a lot of you are wondering what the press. Alright, so that's, that's the section, uh, you know, about what you guys about school whether it was a badass. But the thing is is that I never really was a badass in school. Uh, I didn't follow the rules and I got in trouble a lot, but it it wasn't specifically the point that I was being a badass. It was just that uh, it was kind of uh, my weirdness. I was a very weird person in high school. I never kind of really fit in anywhere, and basically, uh, I had uh, detention almost every single day throughout most of my time in high school. But they put the detention early in the morning, and there was no way that I was going to get up early in the morning to go to detention. So I only went to detention once, just simply to see what it was like. I was curious to see what the detention was like, so I went once, and then it sort of never showed up again. <laughs> I mean, my figure, what were they going to do? So kick me out of school? Uh, so they didn't do that. They just, you know, they just kept me giving me more detentions and they just never showed up. So and I ended up having sort of a, a, a perpetual detention through most of high school, but I kind of never showed up. Uh, that's sort of my, uh, my badass, or if you want to put it that way, my badass. Uh, in school, but that is, it wasn't. It wasn't to be bad. It wasn't. Uh, and the thing is, every time I try to be cool, that this is the thing. Is, is, is every time you try to be cool or have that sort of swagger, uh, it never works out. It never works out for myself. Uh, I always end up doing something really embarrassing or really stupid. Uh, so things go back to the way they normally are for myself, which is my average, average everyday normal weirdness. So I think, but I think you know, I, weirdness to me is, is all right because that's the way I am. So it's kind of neat to see other people in your situation uh, or, or kind of like you are. So that's where I think I think it, it kind of uh, you know I like what she does in here. And the, uh, one of the interesting ones that she put up there that kind of freaked out and puzzled everybody is that she did this. Uh, um, on July 28th, this is about a month ago, uh, she put up this one here called The Dictionary Experiment, where she basically reads from the dictionary. And here's the bizarre thing. Well, this was sort of a 60 second uh, uh, experiment where she was reading from the dictionary and most of her uh, her fans, the comments down below, uh, you see uh, comments of uh, basically, uh, they're completely bewildered, they're, they're puzzled, they're, they can't figure out what's going on and why she's doing what she's doing. Uh, I actually have 
a documentary series uh, called Adventures in the Library, and one of the series inside that, 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 that documentary series uh, is uh, basically reading from the dictionary. It's, it, it, I, I, if you have a collection of old dictionary, dictionaries, and I do all the way back to 1911, uh, then actually reading from the dictionary can actually be something that's interesting because you get, you get to see how words have changed over periods of time. Uh, so, <laughs> well, everyone else thought it was unusual. I thought it was kind of cool that she was reading from the dictionary. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. I was supposed to do some more on, um, on uh, Physics TV. Today I was going to add another section of Physics TV. But uh, that is not going to happen uh, since we ended up uh, going so late today. I think this is going to be a shortened uh, episode, sort of a fail at a 30-minute 30, uh, 30 episode. So uh, it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm tired, and I want to go to bed. All right, I'll see you in the next episode for Big Bang Theory RL. Good night. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.